Hi guys and welcome back to Body Talk. We are the Lean Machines and today's 10 minute workout is all about toning. So we're gonna get straight stuck in. Let's go for a nice slow squat. So bums coming down to just above the knees at the lowest point, okay? When you squat, knees bend slightly, bum goes back and down. What we don't want is our knees to come past our toes. So keep going like that, starting to put a nice bit of work through the glutes and through the quads. Pushing through your heels is really gonna start to work your quads a bit more. Use your arms to balance. Good, five seconds. I'll just say something, I'll just talk. Good, one more. And now you're gonna step your right leg back into a lunge position and straight in with a slow lunge. So the main thing to remember, when it's about toning, we're slowing the movement down, as, well, as slow as you dare really, and keeping your chest proud and keeping your back heel up, as you can see that John's doing at the moment. Do not let your knee touch down and do not let your body weight fall forwards over the front of your toes. So keep it going, it should be starting to build up a nice little bit of pressure in the back of your legs. Five more seconds. Two more, one, two, step in. Quick change of the leg and then straight back in, exactly the same the other side. Taking it nice and wide, lifting your chest and dropping your back knee down. So, I've, oh, I'm gonna talk, you just keep talking John, it's fine. Okay guys, so it's important when you're lunging, to keep your shin and your thigh parallel to the floor, okay? So that way you're dropping straight down and you know you're not leaning forward, okay? Keep the pressure over your hips, keeping your chest nice and straight and back upright. That way you're gonna stay nice and supported. Very well said. So make sure we're getting nice and low, guys. We're almost there. Let's have a few more. Pushing through the front heel is gonna work. Your glutes on that right side too. Hands on the hip if you want to. If not, you need a little bit of balance so you can get the arms going as well. Right, last one. Okay, step yourself, Whoa. feet slightly wide and hips, take yourself down to a nice low squat, same as we did before, and hold it there. This is an isometric hold. You're not moving, but all your muscles are switched on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting told off for leaning on my hands. <laughs> Don't do that, that's lazy. But all your muscles are switched on. This is gonna start to burn, okay? And it's really good for turning the muscles. Make sure that bum is back and down. Keep, your Keep chest holding proud. Your shoulders are back, and you've got a nice center of gravity all the way through the heels. You've got two seconds, one, to slowly relax it all the way off. You're one set in out of four. We're gonna repeat the whole set again. So straight back in. Squats. So round two in the toning phase of the legs. Now we wanna challenge yourself to get a little bit lower. So bring your hands out a little bit further. Drop your bum down a little bit lower. Making sure that your knees stay over your toes. Even if you can, slow it down a little bit more. So take a three second down and three second up. And you'll really feel it build up. One more for luck and change it. Straight back into lunges, right leg back again. We're gonna drop straight in. So I'm starting to get a little bit of pain in my legs at the moment, and you should be. If you're not, just slow it right down and keep the abs braced all the way through. And deep breaths. Good effort, guys. We're nearly halfway through. You've got around 15 seconds, and then we're gonna crack on with the bottom half. Keep going, guys. Really pushing through that heel and keeping the back heel off the floor. Right, two more reps. Last one, swap the legs over. Step back with your left leg, hands on the hips, drop yourself down. Good. So nice and slow reps, it's all about time under tension. The longer you keep those muscles under tension, the bigger results you're gonna get. If you're doing super fast reps like this, the muscles aren't under tension for enough time, okay? So take it down nice and slow. Keep going. Legs are really gonna start to be feeling it now. So you've got eight seconds. We're gonna go for five more reps. Four, three, we're speeding them up. Two. two, good, last one, and relax okay. it off. You've got two sets left, we're going down onto the floor, so grab yourself from that ab mat, let's do it. Okay, so we're in our set position. Let's go down to press-ups, we've got 30 seconds of press-ups. If you look at Leon, it's really important to keep those hips nice and straight. And Leon, do you wanna show him just needs an alternative for us? Easy, just drop the knees down, but also if you do drop your knees down, don't lift your toes up. Just keep the pressure off the knees by dropping the toes down on the floor and keeping it balanced. And before you know it, you'll be straight up on the toes. So let's try and get that chest almost to the floor. You've got five more seconds. Four, three, two. Last one, take yourself into plank position. Elbows under the shoulders. We want you to lift your right leg up straight. Hold this for 15 seconds. Hold it there. So you're un unstabilizing your core while you're doing this. It's gonna make it a little bit tougher. Two more seconds. One, two, left leg up. Hold it there, keep that back straight. Try and not to let the lower back drop. Keep holding, guys. And same again, I'm gonna show you the lower impact alternative. If you can't do it, just keep one knee down. Last four, three, two, one. 
I'm gonna disappear because we need a little bit of room for this one. So I'm gonna take you through this last one. This is something we call walkthroughs. Start with yourself in press up position. Left hand comes up, right leg pushes forwards. While we're doing this, we're really engaging our core. Keep it nice and slow, pushing through, controlled all the while. Really stretch out, and by the time you're extending that leg, you've really got to engage your core to keep yourself nice and straight. This is a move they often use in jiu-jitsu when they're warming up. Really get all the joints moving, get you stretched out nice and far, and locking that core in. Let's keep going. A few more seconds. And I'm back. Set number two, straight in, back to the press-ups. So now, if you can, like John was saying, get all the way down, and I'm gonna test you to do it at the same speed as me. So slow it right down, two, three, all the way up. Down, two, three, and slow squeeze. Five seconds, yeah. last two, one, slow rep, last one, and bring it into the plank. Well done, we're nearly there. Right so, up. yes, right leg up and hold. And keep breathing, really toning that core, working that lower back, working the abs, get nice and toned, flat stomach. Keep going, stay that straight, keep that straight. <laughs> 10 more seconds guys, keep holding, come yeah, on. Change it round. <laughs> How you feeling over there, John? Well, it'd be better if you stopped kicking me. <laughs> Good, you've got five seconds left. Four, four, three, two, one more set. Let's bring it all the way up. And I'm gonna disappear again. Bye bye. Right, back to the walkthroughs. Opposite leg and opposite hand come up and we squeeze through nice and far. A nice big stretch on the muscles, keeping that bum off the floor. Do not let your bum touch the floor and get nice and close to it, but we're not touching. Keep going, pressing out. Keep moving, there's no point rushing this one. You're gonna look like you're break dancing a bit and it's not gonna be so easy, all right? It's not gonna be as effective on the muscles either. Right, last two, one this side, last one. Bring it back, okay. Leon's come back in, we've got a little burn to finish. We're gonna do 60 seconds of hill climbers. So right knee, left elbow. Good, so really get them pumping this time. We're getting the heart rate up for a little burn to finish. Stay on your toes, keep the back straight, and keep pressing. Good guys, keep going, you're 20 seconds in. Keep going, don't stop. How you doing Leon? I'm good. <laughs> so if you can guys, and you've got it in a tank, Rotate a little bit more and just bend the arm to compensate. And if you can, pick it up. You've got 20 seconds of work left. So keep it going. Almost there. Keep pushing all the way to the end. Good. Brace those abs. Last 10. Nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, five four, four, three, three, two, one. Relax. Well done. All right, take some good deep breaths. Let's have a quick stretch. From here, step forward with your right leg. Lean yourself forward, left hip flexor stretch, nice and far forward. Let's take the same arm up behind for the tricep. All you're doing is taking it behind your back as Leon's gonna show you. And put ever such a little bit of pressure on the tricep, not too much. Good, relax the arm down. Take that leg fully extended forwards and release the hamstring. Well, that good. was a pretty good burn. Well, I'm sweating again. Again, <sighs> as always. We seem to be making a, a habit of this. Good, so bring that leg back. This time, step halfway forward with your left. Lean into it again for your left hip flex, for your right hip flexor, sorry. You can feel it nicely in your groin if you're leaning far enough forward. Toes on the floor as well as the knee. And bring that arm back. Heart rate's starting to finally come back down again. Yeah, I know, I'm dripping, I can feel it. Hopefully you enjoyed that one, guys. It was a tough one. Relax yourself down, step forward with that leg. Last stretch, lean yourself into it nice and deep. Releasing the hamstring. Try not to bounce, it's really important you don't bounce when you stretch, all right? That's not ideal, unless you're doing things like karate and stuff like that, okay? So just stay nice and steady with your stretch and slowly ease into it. And when you're done, relax yourself up. Give yourselves a good round of applause, well done guys. Thank you so much for joining us guys. A big well done if you managed to finish. Don't forget, if you want to do some more workouts, subscribe to Body Talk. They're coming in all the time. We've been the Lean Machines, and thank you very much for joining us. See you soon. Bye bye. See you later. So, this two to three times a week, like I say, 10 minutes of work, put it together with one of our ab workouts, 
and you'll be lovely and ready for the summer. So just swap it round. Ah, we should be coming back to earth now.